loud noise and shake felt around 315 this afternoon had many of you wondering what caused it. We do know it was not an earthquake, or at least the U.S. Geological Survey has not reported one in our area. It's possible it was a sonic boom, but we have no confirmed reports at this time. News 5's Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals has a theory. Yeah, the first theory is when you live in between four or five military Air Force bases, it's not unusual to get a sonic boom. Take a look at this satellite. Let's do a little science here. No clouds near shore in the Gulf. It was clear this afternoon, but if you looked at the radar at 3 o'clock, you may have seen a little green blip south of Sand Island near the Chandelier Islands. As it turns out, that was most likely an aircraft dropping chaff. Chaff is little metallic strips that are used to calibrate a radar or most cases to fool the radar so that it cannot see the aircraft. And typically the plane is moving so fast, it creates a line in the trail of, and chaff is no larger than your hair, it's little tiny particles. But watch those red lines in the Gulf drifting to the east, a pretty good sign that there is a very fast moving airplane in the Gulf, which can produce sonic booms. And as Roseanne said, the U.S. Geological Survey, no earthquake. That's on your free News 5 weather app if you didn't notice. Just check the settings. Now, in the future, we get cold again. I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes.